Although planets surround stars in the galaxy, how they form remains a subject of debate. Despite the wealth of worlds in our own solar system, scientists still aren't certain how planets are built. Currently, two theories are duking it out for the role of champion. While the first, core accretion, works well with the formation of terrestrial planes, scientists have difficulty reconciling it with giant planets like Jupiter. A more recent model known as disk instability may help solve some of the problems that core accretion fails to address in scientists' views of how the solar system formed. Weighing in at 2.5 times the mass of the rest of the solar system planets, Jupiter played an important role in the formation and evolution of its siblings. New theories about the early solar system suggest that Jupiter may have moved around, stirring up material. The complex dance of the king of planets may have directly influenced the formation of Mars and played a role in the bombardment of the rocky planets. Approximately 4.6 billion years ago, the solar system was a cloud of dust and gas known as a solar nebula. Gravity collapsed the material in on itself as it began to spin, forming the sun in the center of the nebula. With the rise of the sun, the remaining material began to clump up. Small particles drew together, bound by the force of gravity, into larger particles. The solar wind swept away lighter elements, such as hydrogen and helium, from the closer regions, leaving only heavy, rocky materials to create smaller terrestrial worlds. But farther away, the solar winds had less impact on lighter elements, allowing them to coalesce into gas giants. In this way, asteroids, comets, planets, and moons were created. The core accretion model suggests that the rocky cores of planets formed first, then gathered lighter elements around it to form its crust and mantle. For rocky worlds, the lighter elements build up their atmosphere. Exoplanet observations seem to confirm core accretion as the dominant formation process. Stars with more metals, a term astronomers use for elements other than hydrogen and helium, in their cores have more giant planets than their metal-poor cousins. According to NASA, core accretion suggests that small, rocky worlds should be more common than the more massive gas giants. Because the massive planet formed so early in the history of the solar system, it most likely impacted the creation and paths of other planets. The planet itself would have had sufficient mass to alter the path of other baby planets that traveled near it, sending them veering either into the outermost reaches of the solar system or toward a fiery death near the Sun. Comets and asteroids could have been similarly cast out. Jupiter is often lauded as a shield for Earth, but that may not have always been the case. Recent studies suggest that gas giants speed up the time scale of impacts. Early in the life of the solar system, Jupiter tossed material helter-skelter, raining some of it on the terrestrial planets, while hurling some of it completely out of the solar system. In systems without Jupiters, however, the impacts are weaker but continue through a planet's lifetime. That's because most of the rocks are stuck in orbit around the Sun without a giant planet to boot it aside.